So yesterday I dyed my hair. It's like a burgundy color. And I had brown hair before with some greys, but I need to touch it up because there's a brown patch there. And when I go like that, like if I was to tie it up, I missed a spot here, my sidey. That's grey there. And then on this side, a similar thing, see? Oh. There. And then just along my hairline there. Oh, dear. Oh. And I have a lot of hair, so it's easily missed. But everywhere else is fine, like. Oh, see? Brown and grey. Sort of just there and down here. So I do have some dye left over. I might touch that up obviously today before I go tomorrow. Oh, ooh, that's a big chunk that I missed. Anyway, yeah, I've got some clothes here behind me. Some jackets, some trackies. I don't know how I'm going to pack. I wanted to do the backpack challenge, but I don't. I don't know if it's possible with these big jackets on because it's the middle of summer here. Technically it's summer in New Zealand, but it's going to be cold. Not the hot weather that I'm used to. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing a meal prep. In the pan I've got my mints. I've got pork, lamb and bin, uh, beef mints. And then I've got some zucchini onion and beans here and I'll just show you so half an onion actually that's a quarter that's the other half there some grated zucchini and then I've just got some green beans here oh no, I can stay there with the rubbish and then over here I've got I just put some olive oil in my pan with some garlic, onion and beans first and then added the beef and then give this a quick stir and then yeah, we'll come back. Thanks. So this is 20 minutes in after it's been simmering. The consistency is exactly what I'm looking for. Nice, thick, beefy pasta. So I'm using the penne pasta for the pasta bag. I'm going to make them in this tuckaway as they're called and they're basically a foil tray with a lid and you can write on the lid what they are. Um, I use these a lot with my cooking. I'm also going to be doing a spaghetti but using fettuccine, so like a bolognese and for my pasta bag I'm using pulse pasta. I'll, Took me a while to get used to the taste of this, but once you get used to the taste, it's really, really good. And I use this when I eat pasta. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a pasta bake with that. And the kettle's just boiled, so I'm going to cook the penne first. I added a handful of baby spinach as well. I love baby spinach. I'm also going to put some, so that's going to obviously cook down, but I'm also going to put some fresh ones um, in or on top of the pasta before I put the cheese on it, just for the different consistencies. I do also have some frozen veggies that I might put in at the end as well. got my water boiling next to me, so I'm going to put the penne on. So these are the tuckaways, all opened, so what I'll do, I'll put the pasta in there with the cheese on top and bake it, and then I'll put uh, the foil side down, foil side down, don't mind the fly spray there and my stuff, and then you can write on there what it is. Oh, everything is boiling, my pasta is boiling away. Everything is looking really, really good. Alright, so I've just put a little bit of pasta and some baby spinach on top. 
And now I'm just going to add the pasta. And then mix it, top it with cheese, bake it, freeze it, you're done. So here are my pastas. I've got three out of it. So three out of one Dolmio, one packet of the 500 grams penne, and all this I used a quarter of each tray of mince. So this has got three different mints in it. It's got pork, lamb and beef all mixed in. I've got three out of it. I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to mix mix it all in once it because these are really hot to touch right now. And then we'll write on the lids and let it cool to room temperature. Put cheese all over it, bake it, let it cool down again and then put it in the freezer then for when we come back from New Zealand. Just pulled them out of the oven. This is what they look like. Three beautiful little trays of pasta bake. And then I've just got my mint simmering for my pasta bakes. These are the lids for Hank's. And the protein pasta is cooked. It doesn't take long to cook at all. So this actually cooked before the beef, so I'm just gonna put the lids just on top like that. Oh, I'm gonna stuff in it. There we go. Like that. And I'll do a quick tidy up. And I'll do the same with this. Add the mince. Uh, mince, cheese, bake it, freeze it, all that jazz. So now I'm doing the spaghetti. I'm just putting it in a bowl along with the meat. So this is the other half of the meat. So I'd use two quarters for the pasta bakes. And then I'd just use a whole half of each mince for that. Got this big bowl of spaghetti and then I'm going to divvy them up into bags. Okay, so out of that I've got three of the pasta bake tuckaway containers and one just go here, one of these big bowls. So there's four containers all up. I broke my little juicer the yesterday and I'm so sad. This pen. So yeah, one, two, three, four, and there's still and probably two servings in the big bowl for dinner tonight. So all up it would have been what maybe six six servings. And this episode is done. Meal prep done, ready for when I get back from New Zealand. And I had fun. So all up I got five pasta bakes four spaghettis so we will be living off pasta for about maybe a week two weeks maybe I don't know um, one of the pasta bakes is two to three servings so yeah we'll see how we go with it um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's video and for our New Zealand adventures as well in the upcoming weeks um, not sure when they're gonna be out but they will be out as soon as I get there peace out <laughs>